Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at capturing this in uh, Lambda expressions. So here I've defined a class called test, and I've given it two private variables, uh, instance variables one and two. I've given it a method called run, and I've given run two local variables called three and four. In the main function, we're defining an object from test, and we're just calling test.run, calling this run method. So uh, let's, let's have a lambda expression in here. Uh, well, before I begin, let's give one and two um, values. So because we're using C++11, we can assign values directly like this. Or indeed, we could use the, um, the kind of curly bracket syntax like this. And this will give these default values for all our objects. In fact, just to be more harmonious, um, I, I, quite, I find it quite hard to actually remember that I can use these brackets because I've spent so long, so many years um, using equals, but um, it's probably best to try to be consistent if we're using C++11. So let's, let's define a, um, a lambda expression here. So we've got our square brackets, round brackets, curly brackets, whoops, curly brackets. And I'm gonna, again, well, actually, um, I was gonna say that I was gonna call this directly, but let's make this a little bit uh, more like something you might actually type, let's say auto uh, p lambda equals and then we can call this lambda expression like that. So uh, if I put some code in here, well we, we can make it um, capture 3 and 4, let's say 3 comma 4 and um, let's maybe arrange this on some separate lines and let's output 3 Endler, and we'll also output four like that. So if I run this, we expect this to work. At least I do. <laughs> so here we've got three and four being output. Um, now you can't capture um, instance variables in the same way. So we can't, for example, type one there. So that's one is an instance variable, so we can't capture it using the normal syntax. We get an error if we try to compile that. But what we can do is we can just put this in there, like that. And if we do that, then we've captured all the um, instance variables. So we could output one and two, like that. So let's, let's run this and check that this works. Um, so, so we've got them being output down there. Now, the, um, the, if we use this, if we capture this, um, your instance variables, they're actually captured by reference. So we could assign a new value to 1, for example, or to 2. So you can't change that. They're always captured by reference. There we go. And this, this doesn't have to be the first... Um, doesn't have to be the first argument you, you can put it anywhere like this so it probably makes sense to put it at the beginning or the end but you can put it anywhere if you've specified that um, uh, equals like pass by uh, value is the default then you can't you can't then uh, add in this so it won't let you do that if we if we try to compile this, we get an error. Uh, but we could put reference as a default, and that will build, and it will capture our local variables by reference. And we're also capture, capturing instance variables by reference, just because we put this in there. So uh, I think that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, pretty simple. Uh, so um, worth having a go at that. Try Try capturing this and uh, um, it gives you, you can have a bit of practice with this um, Kelly parenthesis initialization as well. Uh, so um, so well, worth, well worth trying this out for yourself, just create an object, check that you can capture this and verify it doesn't have to be in any particular position and maybe verify that if you try to make pass by value the default with equals, that that, that doesn't work with this, but you can use reference as the default, so it's worth, worth verifying that for yourself. Okay, so until next time, happy coding.